Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinders van build. In this video we're upgrading our seats. When I made the decision that I was going to convert a van into a motorhome I knew that I would be changing the seats in the van. I'm going to spend a lot of time in them so I wanted a little bit of luxury and something that was going to be really comfortable in the warmer climates and in the cold winters. It's our intention to travel as far north as the Arctic Circle and then as far south as North Africa. And because of where we want to go, we've had to consider every item that we've purchased for this van and the seats are no different. And as such, a lot of time went into the thought process, what we wanted and who we were going to use and what design we wanted. And this is me arriving at the upholsterers to have my new seats fitted. We started looking firstly through Google, as most people do. We didn't have a clue who made seats or if there was anyone near us. We had a good look and in all honesty we struggled. We struggled to find anybody local that could do what we wanted. We looked at many, many designs. It was it was daunting the amount of choice that was out there. The different styles, the different materials, the different patterns, the different textures. It was mind-blowing. But we found a company called Anderson's Upholstery Limited. Now, they're not close to us. They're a good two-hour drive away over in the northeast. But we've been on lockdown, so we weren't bothered how far away they were. We were up for a good drive out. So we popped across, and after going through this website we'd gone with a kind of a design in mind but like I say even up to the last minute we hadn't made very many choices you know we were struggling really struggling just look at this gallery there is so many different seat designs to choose from and these are just a few I clicked through this just to show you what a comprehensive catalogue they've got they can put these in your van, they can put it in a horse box, they can put it in a caravan, they'll do it for a boat, they'll do it for a truck, they'll do it for a motorhome, they'll do it for absolutely anything. These guys are awesome at what they do. On our initial visit to Anderson's, we met John, the owner, and couldn't have been more helpful if, if he tried. He talked us through the different combinations of materials, he showed us lots of lots of different seats, and as soon as we saw the material that we ended up choosing, we knew we had to have that. We also wanted to add a bit more detail to the bolster of the seat, just to make it look a little bit more sporty. And we also wanted some engraving on the headrest. Once we'd chosen our material and our designs, it was a matter of just settling up. So we paid John and he gave us a two week turnaround, which was reasonable. But they even smashed that out of the park. They'd done it in just under a week. It takes a lot to get me excited. But waiting for these seats, I was like a kid at Christmas. That two hour drive felt like 20 minutes. As soon as I got there, the lads were straight on the job. There was no messing around, no waiting around. They started by removing the front seat as this was going to be upholstered while we waited. As for the bench seat, that was just an exchange unit and had already been trimmed. So it was just a matter of exchanging mine for that one. Those of you that know me know I can't stand by and just watch somebody work. I've got to get involved, I've got to get hands on, so I try and help up where I can. One of the side effects of being locked down during a pandemic, uh, you don't get to talk to many people. So when you get the opportunity, um, it's hard to shut up. And I think we could have got this seat out a lot quicker if I just shut my mouth and left this lad to do his job. But in his defence, he was a good crack. And it turns out we both work in similar industries and we've been working on the same site quite recently. Just keep watching that van in the background. 
they get so many seats in that van, it's unbelievable. And these are all new upholstered seats going out to different customers. The company has grown over the years just through word of mouth. It's a true testament to their standards, their quality and their workmanship. If you can grow a business this well, this successful, without advertising, you're doing something right. I've held this lad back long enough. It's time for him to get this seat into that workshop. Here's your first opportunity to see the style and design that we ended up going with. It's only a little bit now, but you'll soon see more. couldn't resist. I had to have a little sit on it, see how it felt. And it felt good. Quality product. I think that's me rubbing away any evidence that I've been sat on it. <laughs> what am I like? And here they are. This was the first time I'd actually seen the seats. I'd had a picture of them in my mind, but this was way better. I was so impressed with the quality, um, the colour, the schemes of style. It all went, it all worked. In my head, I had no doubt that it would work, but to see it and touch it and feel it, it was, it was just far better than we'd ever expected. Took a little bit of jiggling to get them in the right position, but once they were there, it just dropped in. It was then just a matter of bolting everything up, putting it all back together. And I think that smile says it all. I was so impressed with the quality and the workmanship. Second to none. With the driver's seat secured, the final piece in place, it's time for the big reveal.
before we placed our order for Anderson's upholstery, even right up to the last minute, we couldn't decide on exactly what we wanted. There was so much choice. And when you look at the website and, and the designs that are, are available, it was it was just mind blowing. So as you all know, I'm an old VW fan and uh I love my golfs and a little bit of that filtered its way into these seats. So we took the Golf GTI trim. This is obviously isn't an original trim, but it's a new grey trim that's out there that's very similar to what's in the golfs. As soon as I saw it, we knew that was the colour that we wanted. But we didn't just want some plain seats. We looked at maybe doing these side panels with a little bit of this trim. And then maybe thought that would be a bit too much, a uh, bit impractical. Because when you're climbing out of a van, you automatically grab these. So the chances were that we'd probably end up wearing these out a little bit quicker than if they were of this material. So we knew we wanted that. We just didn't know how we were, how else we were going to develop what we wanted. So when we got there, we'd seen a couple of um, other seats in the in the in the place in John's place at Newton Aycliffe. And I love this detail on the bolsters. And we asked for this with a little perforated detail in it as well. But I'm just blown away. Everything still works. You've got everything that you had originally. The armrests are done. Um, you know, everything's perfect. I find myself doing this all the time. I still rub it. <laughs> and it looks like I'm trying to rub marks off, but they're not marks. I'm, I'm just. I just love it. This has been in my van for months now and when anybody comes to the house um, to do any work or anything like that, they're always interested in the van so we we always show them it but this is the first thing I always show them and that's the seats because I am well impressed, absolutely blown away by them and the fact that the swivel, even better now yeah, if you want seats really good quality attention to detail give the lads at anderson a, a shout absolutely brilliant i like i say i can't sing the praises enough i just love all the detail even the embroidery the guys did that for us as well um i don't know what john charged i didn't really want that detail <laughs> um i just paid the bill when i got it i was i was made up but yeah these are our seats and we love them. Just look at how neat the stitching is. I love this perforated detail as well on the bolsters. It's fantastic. That there has been transferred onto the seat itself. To the seat bolsters. And I love this grey on grey trim. Absolutely love it. But I say that a lot, don't I? And I actually mean it. <laughs> These seats are... Well, I think they make it. So these are the back seats. And again, we've got the same level of detail as in the front. No perforation on here. No need for it. This is a bed. So this will only be getting slept on and sat on when we're eating meals and resting and hiding from the weather, probably. But I love this bed. I've even... I made it so it was wide enough for me. Quite broad shoulders. So I just flick this piece out of the way. But recently I've decided that I'm going to change the bunk. So it can be even wider. So what will happen is this piece will pull out. That piece will drop down. So that's the next project. Alter that bed. If you enjoyed today's video. Think about liking and subscribing to the channel um as you can see the van is getting closer to being finished everything's fallen into place i have took my time with this van there's been no rush we've been stuck in lockdown um, my window surrounds are currently locked up in lockdown in the shop so hopefully we'll get them back soon but yeah we're nearly there nearly there
Got a couple of little things left to do. Doors to insulate, window surrounds and curtains to fit. Curtains to fit on this window. A little piece in the kitchen to make, a little cupboard, some description. Bit of a splash back to do. Electrics to finish off. But yeah, we're nearly there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.